Hi, this video is going to look at scatter plots and lines of best fit. The learning goals for this video are to describe relationships between two variables given data and to use lines and curves of best fit to model data and make predictions. So here's some information relating the time worked and the earnings of eight different people. So for instance, this person here um, worked three hours and made $50. This person here worked five hours and made $70. So uh, basically this, in, this um, uh, graph here is looking at uh, the information for eight different people. And you can see that there's a bit of a pattern up here. So a scatter plot, which is using uh, the information here and plotting it on an axis involving two variables, provides a visual representation of the data that allows us to see patterns and relationships between variables. So the relationship here seems like the, the more you work, right, the more hours you work, the more money you earn, which seems to make sense. Um, what we can also do is we can try to generalize the pattern here using a straight line and that line's called the line of best fit so what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm just trying to um, uh, kind of follow this pattern and just try to do it with one straight line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda you can see that the cluster kinda moves like this and um, I'm gonna try to draw a straight line through this kinda cloud um, follow, following the trend of the dots, so you notice that it's kind of going up like this. There's roughly the same number of dots above and below the line. Um, and uh, so this is a manual one. So we just made one by hand. Uh, but there's computer programs that um, follow an algorithm that we won't need to go through uh, to make a line of best fit as well. So the good thing about a line of best fit is that it allows us to make certain predictions. Um, so in this question here, using a line of best fit, predict how much someone would make working six and a half hours. So I go to where six and a half hours is on the time worked line, which is over here. I'm going to read um, and hit the line here. So using this line, which follows this pattern, um, I can make a prediction that somebody would make, oh, that's about 130, that's 140, so halfway is 135, it's a little bit below that, I'm going to say $132 okay. using my line of best fit. So that's how we um, use a line of best fit to make predictions. Now, with a line of best fit, um, we... Um, uh, can look at the direction of that line as uh, to to really um, understand its correlation. So when you notice that these dots are going upwards like this, and a, a line of best fit would look like that, that's called a positive correlation. So that's when one variable is getting bigger, the other one is also getting bigger. Okay, so that's a positive correlation. A negative correlation looks like this. So that's when when one variable is going up, one is going down. Now here is when you can't really, there's no pattern in the dots here. They all seem to be, uh, be scattered. So when you can't really draw a line of best fit to follow the trend of the dots, uh, that's when we can say that there is no correlation between the two variables. So uh, let's look at um, some more data here and on the scatter plot it is relating grades and time spent studying. So what I can see is I can see that the dots are sort of going upwards like this. So I'm going to do what I can to try to draw a line of best fit. So I'm going to go like that. Okay, something like that. Um, so it seems like the relationship is that the more hours you study, the higher the grade, right? So that's the relationship. The more time studying, the higher the grade, or the greater the grade. Let's look at the correlation. So because they both increase together, right? More time studying is a higher grade, so they're both increasing. That would be a positive correlation. 
Um, let's predict the time studying for someone with a grade of 90. So I go to where grades are, 90, which is over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and read until it hits the line of best fit. So it's right here. And I need to know what number is above, uh, is this above. So this is six, this is six and a half and this is seven. So I'm going to say maybe 6.6 .6 or 6.7 hours. I would say 6.7 hours. So that's how we use our line of best fit to make predictions. Okay. Um, let's look at another example. So here is um, a graph relating gas remaining in a car and the time driven. So um, let's draw let's draw a line of best fit here. So it seems like it's there's a there's a line going downwards. So I am going to try to uh, fit that in a line, and that's not so bad. So it seems like the relationship here is the more time you drive, the less gas you have remaining in the car. Right? So the more time driven the less gas remaining okay. in a car. Let's look at the correlation because when you have more time, you have less gas in the car, they are, one is going up while the other one is going down. And also this line is, is pointing downwards. So this is a negative correlation. Um, and let's use this line of best fit to predict the gas remaining after seven hours of driving. So here is seven. Now, because you see how there's no dots around here, so we're going to make a prediction. This is an extrapolation. Um, but you know, because this line follows the pattern, it's going to be rather reasonable. Um, I'm going to go up. I'm going to see where seven is. I'm going to go until I hit the line of best fit. And then I'm going to try to figure out how high up this is. So this is 15. This is 17 and a half. Uh, you know, something like 16, 15, 16, 17, about 16. Let's say 16 and a half. As long as you're in the ballpark, it's not so bad. So again, draw a line of best fit because that will help you to see the correlation and the relationship and then you'll use that to make a prediction. Now sometimes the data doesn't quite fit a line of best fit but it obviously fits a curve of best fit. So um, in this case here um, uh, this looks like a non-linear relationship and it looks like it's very smooth right it's a very smooth curve so I'm going to do what I can to just try to fit this using a curve. Whoa, I went a little bit under there. That's okay. It's something like that. So um, when it's obvious that it's a curve, then draw a curve of best fit. Um, but when it's more clear that it's a straight line, then we draw a line of best fit. And we can make predictions using this curve as well, just like what we would with a line of best fit. So that's um, how we use a line of best fit on a scatter plot to understand the relationship between two variables. Thanks for watching.